Hey, how are you doing today? Today we're going to make something really cool in Unity. We're going to make a trajectory predictor, just like in the Angry Birds and other similar games. So I already set up a scene in Unity to the point where you slingshot an object towards the target. Let me show you. So you pull the rubber of the slingshot and launch it towards a target. I did it from scratch in this video. The link is in the description. So it would be better if you have a look on how I got to this point. So let's begin. So what I have here is a slingshot object. So now the trick is I'm going to add a line renderer component inside this. So once you pull the rubber of the slingshot, I'm going to add curves or bends in the line vertices. Pretty clever, right? Okay, now select the slingshot object and create a empty game object. This is going to be our trajectory line. So I'm going to call it trajectory and add a component, the line render component. Let's drag it over here. Set the shadow bias to zero and change the width to 0 0.100. And in the material, name it default particle. Okay, now the slingshot object has a slingshot script. So let's open up the slingshot script. Now create a reference for the trajectory line we just made. Call it public line renderer the trajectory. So now I'm gonna write a method to enable and disable the trajectory. So let's call it set trajectory active boolean active trajectory dot enabled equal to whether it's active or deactive all right so as you know slingshot has some multiple states slingshot in rest position and slingshot in pulling position which means the state of the slingshot is pulling this is when we are going to show the trajectory all right so in the code I have set up the state and handled each situation what to do when the state is idle and what to do when the state is pulling so the trajectory is going to be inside this case all right so here when the mouse button is down which means the user is pulling the slingshot rubber then we're gonna show the trajectory so in the pulling state and inside the mouse button down clause I'm going to calculate some distance pull distance equal to vector 3 dot distance among slingshot middle vector and the rock which is our the throwable object so what is actually the slingshot middle vector well I'm calculating in the start method of my slingshot code it is actually the distance of both the rubbers how far the rubbers are stretched so we captured the distance and we're gonna pass this distance to our show trajectory method the magic will happen inside this method alright so now let's write this method void show trajectory float distance so first of all I'm gonna set the trajectory active true then I'm gonna calculate the difference between the slingshot middle vector and the throwable object position which is our rock and I'm gonna set the segment counts means how many bends you want in the line 
and set it to 25 and then rest of the segments I'm gonna take a vector 2 array of segments equal to new vector 2 of the segment count and the starting position of the bands is going to be our throwable objects position and now how far we have to throw the object I'm gonna calculate the segment velocity vector 2 seg velocity to new vector 2 the diff dot x diff dot y into throw speed how fast the object will fly into the distance we passed in our method all right so we have the first bend it is where our the throwable object resides in the slingshot and the rest of the segments we're gonna calculate inside the loop so I'm gonna say 4 int i equal to 1 i shorter than segment count i plus plus so the magic will happen inside this method so I'm gonna say float time curve equal to I into time dot fixed delta time into 5 5 will give a smooth curve otherwise it's going to be jaggy so I'm gonna set segments of the current index is going to be segments 0 plus the segment velocity into the time curve plus 0.5 F into physics 2d dot gravity into the math dot power of the time curve into 2 mat f so we have the segments now set it up to our trajectory by typing trajectory dot position count which is going to be our segment count which is 25 and now let's add the bends to the line typing in j equal to 0 j shorten then segment count j plus plus and now add the bends by typing trajectory dot set position j and whatever the segments inside the current loop Okay, we are done in the trajectory method so when user releases the mouse button we are gonna which is the else part we're gonna hide the trajectory line by typing set trajectory active equal to false okay now let's go back to the scene and select the slingshot as you see there is a reference for the trajectory let's drop it here and now let's run the game drag it here wow that's sweet and awesome isn't it so if I release the mouse button now let's reset
I hope you liked the tutorial. Leave a comment and like and press that subscribe button because in next Unity tutorial we are going to be doing something really big. We will make a fruit slicer game in 3D from scratch. It's going to be a long series. So hit subscribe, subscribe and subscribe and I'll see you next time.